so now we'll take our prediction a step further, and now we'll actually look at similarity. So before we said that we were just looking at um, like user movie uh, similarities, in a sense we weren't really looking at similarities, we we're just looking at trends across a user and see how um, biased he was in his ratings or how good a movie was relative. Now we'll actually look at um, seeing how similar two movies are to one another, or equivalently really how similar two users are to one another. Very similar technique to do that. Um, so the main idea here in the uh, the technical term for it is collaborative filtering, where we really look for patterns across the table rather than just treating the rows and columns in isolation, we look for patterns across the table. And we'll look at one of the simpler methods, um, one of the easier ways to do collaborative filtering. There's uh, many different ways to accomplish it. Um, first thing we'll look at is user to user. right? Um, so let's just look at um, two users movie tastes, for instance. Um, suppose we have two users, um, Anna and Ben. Okay. So um, there's and there's four movies here, or four of them that they've both rated. Uh, Good Will Hunting, Beautiful Minds, Lion King, and Aladdin. So Good Will Hunting, Anna and Ben both gave a thumbs up. Beautiful Mind, they both gave a thumbs up. Lion King, they both didn't like. Aladdin, they both didn't like. And uh, Jurassic Park, Anna gave a thumbs up to. So the question is, can we make a prediction for what we think Ben would think of this movie? Well, him and Anna really gave the same signal for every other movie, right? They either both liked the movie or they both didn't like the movie. So it seems like whatever Anna does is what Ben does as well because they have very similar movie tastes. We would say, well, Ben would probably like this movie. Similarly, if Anna didn't like this movie, didn't like Jurassic Park, we'd say that Ben probably didn't like it, right? So it works either way. And um, so now this would also work, for instance, and uh, we'll look at this in a second with a movie example, but suppose now... Um, instead, keep Anna thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs down. Suppose Ben was thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs up, thumbs up. Right. So now they have opposite tastes. Okay. So they're entirely dissimilar. Now that's still helpful because if Anna likes this movie, then we expect that Ben will not like it because they have very opposite tastes. That's still helpful. And uh, we'll see how we quantify helpfulness in each direction um, in a minute. Uh, but that is still helpful, then you just do the opposites. And um, so again, it's either a strong positive correlation, which we just illustrated, or a strong negative correlation. Neither one is useful. Okay, we just don't want um, non no correlation. So we don't want uh, variations of whether they agree or disagree. And um, now, uh, these similar or dissimilar, whichever ones are whichever one is talking about, if Anna and Ben are very similar, then we call them neighbors. And similarly, if they're dissimilar, we also call them neighbors. And that's what we use when we develop what's called the neighborhood method. And we'll look at how we develop the neighborhood predictor um, throughout this, the rest of this lecture, really. And um, now, additionally, we can also do movie to movie Similarity. So now let's uh, we look at a bunch of users and we'll see what they think of um, two different movies, Good Will Hunting and A Beautiful Mind. So now um, Anna likes Good Will Hunting, didn't like Beautiful Mind too much. Ben didn't like Good Will Hunting, liked A Beautiful Mind. Charlie didn't like Good Will Hunting, liked A Beautiful Mind. So now we say that these movies seem to be very dissimilar, right? These users were similar, but the movies now these movies seem to be dissimilar. So Dana, if we know that Dana liked Good Will Hunting, we'd say she probably didn't like Beautiful Mind. So it's just the we're just cutting the table differently. Here we're looking across the columns because we wanted to get data for how two different users responded differently to one another. So it was user to user similarity because we're comparing two different users. And here we're looking down the rows because we want to look at two different movies and get the most data possible see how users respond to the different movies and then so we can predict Dana's rating for this movie hopefully and um, similarly if Dana didn't like this movie we would think that she was gonna like Beautiful Mind so it works either way we'll focus on the movie to movie similarity actually here